Nehemiah 8. Can you read uh, verse 5? Then uh, Nehemiah 9, verse 3. Nehemiah 8, 5. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. And then chapter 9, 3. And they stood up in their place and read in the book of the law of Jehovah their God one fourth part of the day. And, in, and you thought today was long. <laughs> one fourth part of the day and another fourth part they confessed and worshiped Jehovah their God. Okay, so what's a fourth part of the day? Would that be six hours? And then another fourth part, six more hours, 12 hours in a day. Yeah. I hope I didn't no, no, get into um, your question. The, um, when I was growing up in a Pentecostal church, the tradition was, okay, uh, when the Bible would be open, everyone stood up. Okay? Uh, so yeah. they literally, uh, and I never really found where they probably got that from. It oh. looks like they probably got it from these passages. But I guess my question is, uh, other than copying what they literally did, uh, what what's God's the significance of, the of, of standing? Open, they stood up. Well, it it, it does show respect. Mm -hmm. it, it shows, um, you know, um, and, and I've been in congregations where they stood up too at, at the reading of the word, and uh, so we we, we can gather that Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people. Now what what we do know spiritually is that uh, Nehemiah 8 goes into the Feast of Tabernacles in the last day in verse 18 from the first to the last day and that reference to the last day ties in with Judgment Day and the end of the world and and, and so this would relate to the Feast of the Bible that um, the spiritual fulfillment of the Feast of Tabernacles is that God is opening up His Word and it has to do with the Feast of the Bible. And there's another hint that um, that's what's going on because verse 7, 13 men caused the people to understand the law and the people stood in their place. Now there the word stood is italicized, mm -hmm. but they probably remained standing from earlier. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I... I, I don't know. Uh, we do know the word stand can mean to abide, to endure. Um, as it says in Ephesians 6, um, to, to withstand is actually the same word translated as stand. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have the armor of God, you, you withstand all the fiery darts of the wicked. And, and, and to stand means you, you don't fall. And in the day of judgment, uh, all around us, you know, thousands round about are falling because it's indicating the, the wicked cannot stand in the day of judgment. Uh, and, and maybe it ties in. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, we, we read, now we, I don't think we read in 2 Corinthians 5, but in Romans 14 that mentions the judgment seat of Christ, it says... In um, verse 10, But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set it not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And Christ has been judging since when? Since May 21, 1988. Um, he, he came as the judge of the churches. And... Um, uh, you know, you could read that, I think, in Mr. Camping's book, um, Time Has an End, where he indicates that Christ has already come as the judge, and he was trying to explain that maybe that's why we won't know the day or hour. Of course, you know, there's a lot of bouncing around with understanding day and hour, but at that time in that book, that was his statement. And, and so we, we uh, Christ has been judging, and the elect are appearing before the judgment seat of Christ, and standing, meaning we're enduring, we're abiding, we're continuing throughout. And uh, Nehemiah 8 does relate to 13,000th year and the opening of the scriptures. And the time when the testing would get underway, where people would start fall to the left and fall to the right. So it would be like 
we could look at it like standing because of I, I'm not saying that's conclusively what it is, but <coughs> it uh, from the word stand in other places and 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 just you know some of uh, related ideas it, it could be that. Thanks, sir. Thank you.